Have you been told to shut down the, the press, Tony? Or? All, all questions regarding LCBO must go through corporate office. Okay. But please, uh, just. You're concerned about what, Tony? Sorry. Please stop. Okay. I'm going to ask, ask you to leave. It's very amusing is that they're more concerned about adverse publicity uh, than they are in terms of theft of being happening. Sir, yeah. Actually, it's owned by the taxpayer of Ontario, ma'am. David Menzies for Rebel News here in Toronto. And before I get to our story today, folks, if you can, please go to rebelinvestigates.com. Sometimes when we hold those in government, those in bureaucracies accountable for their decisions, they are not willing to give that information to us. So we have to file freedom of information requests and that can cost hundreds of dollars. And lo and behold, I am here to report on that very thing. You know, for more than a year now, astute uh, viewers of Rebel News will know that we've been trying to find out just how much theft in terms of stolen liquor is going out the door of LCBO stores. That's the Liquor Control Bureau of Ontario. And you would think that the LCBO would be open and transparent with that information. It is a crown corporation. It is, in effect, owned by the taxpayer. Oh, what are you doing, sir? Called, sir? Pardon oh, me? Gonna call the police, please? Oh, okay. Go ahead and call the police, then. Okay. So as you can see, we were just, uh, there was an attempt to shut us down. That is the other thing that's very amusing, is that they're more concerned about adverse publicity uh, than they are in terms of theft of being happening. Sir, yeah. Actually, it's owned by the taxpayer of Ontario, ma'am. Why, sir, as a security guard, why aren't you concerned about thieves stealing booze? Okay, go ahead. Now, where was I? Uh, we filed that, uh, infor uh, we actually, we asked the LCBO how much they were losing in terms of theft. They would not answer. So we filed a freedom of information request, and incredibly, it was denied on five reasons. Now, folks, you're not going to believe this. The first reason was advice to government. Um, what does that mean, that the LCBO advises government? I mean, the LCBO is the tail. The government is the dog. The tail does not wag the dog. It should be taking its orders from the Ministry of Finance, not vice versa. Number two, okay, thank you, is... Oh, yeah, we're exempt, thank you. Uh, medical exemption. Okay, all right, thank you. Thank you, Karen. Uh, number two is law enforcement. Now, what does this mean exactly? It sounds ominous. I guess we're going to find out because the security informed me they've called the cops. So maybe the police can explain that. And the third reason they denied our request for that dollar amount was economic and other interests of Ontario. Now, this is, uh, you know, absolutely staggering because why is it not in the economic interests of Ontario to know what the theft amount is? I mean, th that makes no sense. In fact, it is the taxpayer, ultimately, that is the owner of the LCBO. Number four, personal privacy. Can you imagine that, folks? So it, this is inexplicable, too, because we're not asking for the names of the thieves. We're just asking for the annual dollar amount stolen. And five, excluded employment and labor relations information. Again, I have absolutely no idea what that means, uh, but it sounds, I guess, technical and official, and I guess um, so be it. Well, here's the deal. At considerable cost, we appealed the LCBO's re uh, rationale for denying us this information, and guess what? The ruler, uh, the, the educator ruled in our favor. It was overturned, and indeed, the LCBO was compelled to give us that dollar amount. And for fiscal 2018, 2019, the dollar amount is almost $5.2 million. That's $5.2 million of booze just flying out the door, not being paid for. And what makes this especially egregious is that according to the LCBO's theft policy, workers shall not attempt to detain or arrest thieves 
Instead, they're supposed to alert police or security personnel. Yes, I'm sure the thief is going to wait around until uh, the police officer uh, or the security guard comes by as opposed to making off with the hooch. And it should be noted, we're not talking about du rigueur, tramps and hobos walking out the door with this booze. We're talking about organized theft rings. We're talking about people that come in, literally fill their bags with high-end scotch, like the kind behind me here, and just walking out unmolested. Now, I know shop theft is a huge problem with all retailers, but the fact that the LCBO has a laissez-faire attitude to thieves is what makes this egregious. Uh, Costco, Walmart, they're privately owned. If they want to endure theft, well, it comes out of their profits. But the point is, it is the taxpayer of Ontario that is the one. Hello there, sir. Hi, Tony. Oh, Tony, why is it that we had to uh, file an FOI to get the amount of theft that the LCBO loses on a uh, annual basis? Can you all your questions to corporate office? Oh, we did, and they wouldn't answer them. Yeah, unfortunately, I cannot answer any questions. Okay. But please... Uh, all your questions to the corporate office. Uh, we did, and they declined to be interviewed, and we also reached out to the Ministry of Finance. Uh, Rod Phillips, his office hasn't even had the courtesy Can you to return. Videotaping, please. Okay. Why, why are you so concerned about videotaping and not concerned about theft? I'm very concerned, but please uh, just... You're concerned about what, Tony? Sorry. Please stop. Okay, I'm going to ask you to leave. All right, then. Well, we're almost finished, no, so... <laughs> <laughs> please, please... Uh, I gotta do my part, please. Uh, well, have you been told to shut down the the press, Tony? Or? All all questions regarding LCBO must go through corporate office. Okay. Yes, I I've done that, Tony. I've told you, and they they've declined. From videotaping, please. Oh, but we're being videotaped by multiple cameras here, Tony. Okay, I'm asking you to leave nicely, so you're you're not. I'm gonna call the police. Oh, I think they've been called already, so it saves you a call. I'll be calling them again. Okay. So. Here we are, folks. Tony is the manager, and again, they seem to be hypersensitive about the story getting out, more so than the thievery happening at the LCBO. And, you know, it's not just the thievery. In recent weeks, other stories have broken, such as a computer glitch um, allowing customers to order bottles of wine, multiple bottles of wine, at a cost of zero dollars and zero cents yeah free booze and um, as well because of the pandemic nonsense we have minors masking up pretending to be older and they are walking out the store now that's kind of funny because the ostensible policy reason for having a government monopoly that serves liquor is social responsibility and what that means folks is that the private sector they're just profit driven. They don't care about doing the right thing. They'll let you know kids buy booze and walk out the store uh, without a second thought. But in fact, this is what we've observed with the government being in charge. They are answerable to no one. And when they do break the rules, unlike say a convenience store selling tobacco to a minor, which faces huge fines or even um, having the right to sell tobacco taken away, uh, the LCBO just shrugs its shoulder and says, oops, our bad, we'll do better next time. In any event, I think um, now that we know the sheer dollar amount, that it is $5.2 million, and by the way, who knows what the amount is in terms of internal theft, um, I don't think that is part of the sum that we were given. In any event, uh, this is an egregious sum, and I think... Um, the Doug Ford cons uh, Progressive Conservatives must do something about this. Remember the slogan in 2018, for the people? Well, we the people, the people of Ontario, we own this. And also, Ontario open for business? Yeah, legitimate business, not monkey business, not the right for organized theft rings and others to come in and just grab a bottle and walk out with it uh, with, in with no concern at all. Because at the end of the day, what the LCBO will do um, presumably to make up for lost revenues, is simply raise the price of booze for the rest of us uh, to purchase. So once again, 
welcome to Doug Ford's Ontario in 2020, where the takers are rewarded, the makers are penalized. For Rebel News, I'm David the Menzoid Menzies. Well, folks, as you can see, it is sometimes almost impossible getting a straight answer from government. That's why we need you to go to rebelinvestigates.com. Sometimes it means uh, filing a Freedom of Information request. Sometimes it means appealing the decision of that request. That can cost hundreds of dollars. If you're able to make a donation, please do so. And my thanks in advance.